Hey, welcome back. So now that we have a create function, we want to be able to see what goes on here once we test it. Now, the thing is, uh, if there are some errors here, uh, I need to be able to return those errors. So instead of returning false here, I want to return the errors. So that's one thing I forgot here. So let me put return errors if things get to this point. Okay, otherwise we return true here. Very good. That's the only change here in the user class. Now that we have that, let's go to our sign up page. Okay. Sign up. Mm -hmm. So completely empty page. Let's create some HTML. Very nice. And of course, we're going to title it as sign up. Very nice. Let's set our metadata for character set like that. As the browsers like to complain if you don't put that. Now, what I need here is a basic form. So I will make a form here and then I will put my method as post. And then down here, I will add a couple of inputs. So type is text. What name? Username. And then at the very end, I will put a break tag. Maybe a couple of them. Let me duplicate this a few times. So here, the next one is... Um, this one is email. Oops. Type email, name email. And then I want one for gender. Now I want it to be a selector. So what I will do here is do select like so. And then add a few options. Now I want to be able to, for them, I want them to be able to select their own options. So I'll leave the first one empty like so. And then I will make a female. And I'll put male. Not that male. Okay, and here I want name to be uh, gender. Okay, very nice. After that, I will add a submit button. Type submit. I don't want a name for this. Let me put sign up in there and change the parameter to value. Right, uh, look in. Uh, good enough i suppose so let me click here and type sign up dot php there we go so we have our sign up page right there but uh, let's decorate it just a, a little bit yeah so let's do an h2 here and put sign up now what I want is to add some styles. So let me just add a style. Now you can do the styling in a in a separate uh, file and then you can link it here. You can say link style and then you put your style.css page or whatever you're going to call it. That's entirely up to you. But for now we're going to do it inline just to avoid those problems of file not found for everyone who is following along. So I'm going to put a style for form. And what I will do is I want margin auto so that it can go to the center. But for it to do that, I need to give it a fixed width. Though I'll say 100%, which is not really a fixed width, but that will be subdued by the max width of 500 pixels. So that will work. And let me add just a slight border radius of five pixels, just rounded corners a little bit. And let me add a visible border as well, just border, not border right. Let's say it's going to be a solid line. It's going to be thin and it will have a color of a very uh, nice gray, which is, uh, let's try CCC. And then let's give it a box shadow just for the heck of it zero pixels zero pixels left and right 10 pixels uh, blurriness and then a color of aaa which is a gray 
very nice but uh, the top should have a larger margin so I'm going to say margin top here maybe 20 pixels and of course the most important thing is the font family uh, which I want something nicer than the default I will put Tahoma so let's refresh okay there we go uh, not the fanciest thing you've ever seen maybe 500 is a bit much let's try 300 that's looking much better okay I obviously forgot to add some padding of 10 pixels so that things are not so close to the wall okay that's looking better then let's add one for our inputs as well okie dokie so now our inputs uh, this one will be equal to let, let's let's add a class here and a class of input instead of directly there and what I want for these guys is uh, let me try position relative and then I want the left to be um, let's try zero pixels and then the right as well zero pixels let me see if that actually does anything at all just as I thought it uh, not really doing anything unless maybe I had made this absolute like so let me just put position relative here so that I don't lose the things I put as absolute in there so refresh why isn't the left and the right working? I want it to stretch from one end to another. So left zero pixel, right zero pixel. Hmm. Let's see, width 100%. Oh, sorry, my bad. You know, these are things you forget relatively easy. I have to add the class here for it to actually work. So class input ah. okay so apparently uh, relative doesn't work let's try absolute now that doesn't work neither so what's going on here anyway forget about that it seems uh, left right Hmm, I don't know why it isn't working. Okay, let's just do margin auto for now. Uh, instead of crying over spilled milk. Margin auto, that way we put these babies in the center. And we need a width for that to happen, 100%. Let's put a max width as well of uh, so this thing is 300 pixels, but then we have a margin a padding of 10 pixels on each side. Uh, so that makes minus 20. So that's 280. Like so. Okay, that's uh, much better. Let's add some placeholders. So in here, I'll add a placeholder. Uh, well, there, yeah, placeholder username, and this one is obviously email, and I forgot the password. So, duplicate that one, change every instance of email to password, and do the same for the um, this part here password. okay and uh, what more can we add here let me come back here let's add a border radius so I'm just going to copy that from there paste it there and uh, let's see what that does oh that's hideous so let's remove the border and just say border none like so so that we have a flat surface actually none wasn't such a good idea was it 
let's add solid thin very light gray CCC very good and some padding would do us some good so let's add some padding of maybe I don't know 10 pixels that should do okay great now let's add a little bit of margin around these guys margin top I think five pixels now the reason there's so much space in between those is because the break tags are two two here so let me remove the second break tags like so to make things more bearable like that okay so we can go on and on all day uh, trying to uh, trying to uh, style these things but uh, I think at the end of the day we're going to defeat the purpose of the tutorial so let's leave it here for now so sign up and everything is good let me zoom out this is how it actually looks that was zoomed in a bit okay so I want to be able to get some errors from here once I try to sign up let's actually uh, let me just style the sign up button itself and then we'll call it a day okay so I'm just going to say uh, BTN short for button and I will say padding 10 pixels uh, what I want is to float to the right and I want a border of none. I want a background color of, let's try blue. I want a color for the text of white. Yeah, that should do it. So refresh. And of course I forgot to add the class to the button. So down here I'll say class btn and let's come back here and refresh and there we go very nice uh, just a few things here let me add a cursor a cursor of pointer yes and then to clear the very end I'll add a break tag so that uh, the thing is not hanging outside I'll add a style and tell it to clear both sides like so okay let me add a border radius as well. Those are usually nice, especially when you add them to everything else, like that. And then I want to obviously change the color by right clicking, inspect element. I usually like lighter colors. So let's uh, choose one that, yeah, I think that does it. We are on the money right there. Okay. Then uh, let me put it here. Very nice. This isn't going all the way to the end. You can add very specific numbers if you want, but uh, yeah, maybe why not? Let's just add a style over there and just give it a width over 300 pixels. I think it's max width. That should be it. Full colon here. Let's try that. Okay, that's more reasonable. Alrighty then. So yeah, well, can this actually take a placeholder? I don't think I've ever tried that. Copy, paste, even though it's the wrong one. Yeah, just as I thought, it doesn't. So what I might do is just say, uh, if you want, you can do something like this and say gender like that. And just say uh, select gender like so yeah that way uh, somebody will have to select something and then if it comes with select gender then you know things aren't good so we can add that to our validation inside uh, the user class here if gender is not equal to not equal to not equal to uh, you can also say if gender is equal to, so say if gender, and then put or like this. So or and. Now if you want to be very specific what is rendered together, just put them in brackets like this. The ands will be together. 
if this is true or any of this is true, then we go through here. Uh, so here I'll just say if it's equal to, then I will copy what's inside the sign up here, just to be sure. And then put it here. Yep, something like that. Okay, very good. So we've wasted this video on CSS. Well, that's just how, uh, how life is. So we'll go to the next video and see how we can get some errors on the other side. See you then.